Eugenie Bouchard, well known as Jeannie, is a Canadian professional tennis and pickleball player. She was the first Canadian-born player to represent Canada in a major singles tournament, reaching the final and runner-up to Petra Kvitova at Wimbledon in 2014. Bouchard also advanced to the semi-finals of the 2014 Australian Open and French Open. She won the 2012 Wimbledon girls title as a junior at the end of the 2013 WTA Tour. Bouchard was named the WTA a most improved player for the 2014 season and rose to a career high position of world number five, making her the first Canadian tennis player to achieve that level. Welcome to Tennis Flicks, a channel dedicated to the latest and greatest in the tennis world. You will be captivated by today's amazing video. Eugenie Bouchard enters pickleball after leaving women's tennis. Let's get started. Early life and junior career. Eugenie Bouchard was born in Montreal as the twin to Michel Bouchard, an investment banker, and Julie Leclerc. Bouchard began playing tennis at age five and was a member of Tennis Canada's National Training Centre in Montreal. She grew up in Westmount, which she attended and graduated from The Study, a private girls' school. At the age of 12, she relocated to Florida to train with coach Nick Saviano. Playing style. Bouchard plays a high-risk, aggressive game from the baseline, relying on her strong ground strokes for success. Bouchard's ability to strike the ball hard, flat, and early on the rise helped her defeat many top 10 women and run deep into grand slams during her breakout season in 2014. Her strongest ground stroke is her two-handed backhand, which can penetrate far into the court and put her opponents behind the baseline. Her forehand is renowned for its shortened swing, which allows her to create significant power. It is particularly effective when used to redirect power down the line. However, the condensed forehand swing diminishes Bouchard's control over the forehand, which may contribute to an excessive number of accidental mistakes when using this shot. How did she win the world of tennis and reach her current position? How much focus is required to be on the highest position of a game? You require the concentration of an eagle. Not sure about it? Simply ask Jeannie Bouchard. She was one of the world's most valuable tennis players. However, now she is simply yet another failure. Jeannie is unquestionably one of the greatest tennis players the entire nation has seen in decades. It isn't merely because she was the first Canadian tennis player to make it to a Grand Slam singles final. She also advanced to the semi-finals of three Grand Slams. In a single year, he rose to a career high of fifth place in the world. Probably the best part of all of this, she accomplished it all at the age of 20. The truth is that she was an excellent player. Now, let us be clear. Jeannie's journey to the top was not an overnight success. It required an amazing level of effort, endless hours of training, and an outstanding junior career. Jeannie was unlike anything else. In 2011, she won the Canadian Under-18 Indoor Championship and advanced to the final of the Junior Wimbledon Doubles Tournament. But it wasn't enough for her. Eugenie Bouchard moved on to win the Wimbledon Girls Singles title the following year, catapulting herself over to prominence. Anyone who was paying attention was able to observe the fact that the Canadians grew their nation's next biggest thing, and it provided Jeannie with the confidence she requested to continue her rise until she reached the top. Eugenie Jeannie Bouchard, rapid progression from exciting young talent to a powerful presence on the international circuit, was witnessed in 2013. She advanced to the WTA final in Osaka, Japan, leaving opponents in astonishment. Eugenie expressed her tennis rage at the 2014 Australian Open. She blasted her way into the semifinals, dominating higher-ranked opponents. Her impressive showing at the Australian Open secured her a berth in the entire world's top 20 for the very first time. As if that weren't enough, the Canadian advanced to the French Open semi-finals. That year, she reached the Wimbledon finals, where she won her first WTF trophy. With it, her career rating moved to fifth in the world, making her the first Canadian, male and female, to accomplish such a feat. That's when the money began to flow in. It wasn't solely due to her on-court wages. Big brands constantly search for the best personalities to represent their opinions. With such an amazing portfolio, the regulation is no surprise the fact that Jeannie has become an endorsement magnet for some of the market's top brands. She had the talents and the beauty. 
Eugenie Bouchard, prominence as a new generation tennis champion, came along with a lot associated with rewards, including the ability to make a few million dollars over influencing and endorsement partnerships. Her tennis career, however, came at a high cost. Eugenie Bouchard undoubtedly broke into the tennis scene with amazing success, reaching the Wimbledon final and rising to a high ranking at such a young age. The requirement to continuously perform at an excellent level while living to achieve achievements can cause more stress and damage a player's optimism and focus. It's no surprise that Jeannie struggled to maintain her focus to an extent where she needed protection in the captivating satisfactions of being famous and being noticed. The good news is, that it worked. However, her career suffered as a result. How else can you clarify the manner in which she went from an unbelievable drop in a single year? Unfortunately, that was just the beginning. We understood that Jeannie's fall in performance may not be entirely her responsibility, because on September 4th, 2015, a tragedy happened that would change the Canadian's life forever. After winning the 2015 US Open mixed doubles in the third round, the Canadian appears to have lost her footing on a wet floor. What was the result? She ended up plunging backward, sustaining a serious head injury and a bruised elbow. It's so serious that Jeannie had to withdraw from both the competition and the Wuhan Open the following month. However, it wasn't until the China opening that we understood how horrible her situation was. During her initial match in this tournament, the Canadian was forced to quit due to a strong migraine and dizziness. Jeannie's situation was far worse and being incapable of playing tennis meant she missed out on a lot of monetary prizes. So we can't really blame Bouchard for initiating a complaint against the USTA, which brought her from dominating the tennis courts to battling it in court for three years. Until she ultimately won in 2018, the USTA was held accountable for 75% of all damages. Despite winning the lawsuit in court, the Canadian lost the battle for putting together her tennis career. Eugenie Bouchard remembers feeling terrified more than a decade ago when she first faced Serena Williams in a WTA match. The former world number no. 5 tennis player and 2014 Wimbledon finalist startled fans in September when she announced she would join the Professional Pickleball Association for the 2024 season. While Bouchard stressed she is not retiring from tennis and intends to compete in both sports this year, she claimed the PPA given her a great offer that I really couldn't refuse and she intends to give the new activity a try. Today's video has come to an end. We looked at Eugenie Bouchard, enters pickleball after leaving women's tennis. We sincerely hope you found enjoyment in gaining insights into the Canadian champion. Eugenie Bouchard's journey from simple moves in tennis to a career in pickleball in this video. For more intriguing content, don't forget to comment on your favorite part of our video and why, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Until then, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. If you have a video idea for our channel, please comment and our team will respond immediately. Game, set, match.